Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Dream Life Podcast. On today's episode, we're talking all about potential. You don't even know my potential. Maybe neither do I. That's what we're going to be talking about. I know it sounds kind of funny, but I'm going to jump into this episode with a quick story. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, the master and his servants that he gave them talents. So the way that it goes, there's one man that was given one talent and he buried it in the dirt. But let's talk about this. So there's a master. This is from a story in the Old Testament in the Bible. And he's leaving out of town. He's leaving. So he leaves his three servants entrusted with all these talents. So he gives one five talents. He gives the other two talents. And then he gives the third one talent. He returns back from his long trip, excited to talk to his servants to see what they did with his money. And the first servant that had five talents turned it into another five talents. He doubled his earnings and the master was very well pleased with that. And then the second servant had two talents and he also doubled it, bringing back two talents to his master. His master was super thrilled with his amazing servants. And then he turned to the third one and asked him, you know, what did you do? And the servant replied that he had buried his talent in the dirt because he was afraid of what would happen. So, and he had heard that the master had a bad temper or something like that. So he was so afraid he buried it in the dirt and that obviously made his master really angry and if you really reflect and look back at this story most of the assumptions based off of the third servant that didn't do anything with his talent is that he was lazy or didn't care or i don't know maybe he was dumb that's really what people think oh someone's stupid you know you didn't do anything with what was given to you and if you listen to what he was saying he said that he was afraid and sometimes we see others as them not trying as if they don't care and really in reality when some of us aren't trying it's because we care so much let me say it again sometimes when we don't try it's because we care so much and we're actually really really afraid of what would happen if we realized that we're not able to do it, if we stepped out into doing it and failed and saw that we couldn't accomplish what we really want. Sometimes some of us don't try because we reflect on what happened the last time we tried. Did we get hurt? Did we fail? Did we lose? And we don't wanna jump back on. And I wanna encourage you and let you know that no matter how long you've been off in that area in your life with your potential that will ultimately lead to your purpose because I truly believe that our potential is for our purpose you know and there's tons of people that are have a bunch of potential and we hear that comment often like you have great potential you have so much potential he has great potential and in reality what they're actually saying to me is that you have potential but your potential has not matured into purpose. So, I mean, after a while, you know, she has potential or he has potential can come off like offensive because, you know, you want to be better than that. You want to be in your purpose, living your purpose, living your best dream life ever. The pain of falling short is nothing compared to the pain of stopping short. That is a huge difference. And I hope you guys really hear that. The pain of falling short something that you could not keep control over. So you gave your best, you gave 200%, you put your all in it. Falling short is okay. Having to live with stopping short, there's shame in stopping short, that's giving up. But there's no shame in falling short of giving your best, of leaving it all out there. And you know what, even when it comes to relationships or friendships, not just business, for example, in a relationship where you give all your best, you give the best of you, you try and you try and you try, you left it all out on the table. You can walk away knowing that you gave your best and that is all that you have. And what's not for you will never be for you. What's for you, no one can take away. So in reality, things work out in a special way. And if you give your 2000% you give your best you can only be happy with that and there is no shame and falling short I don't want you to miss your potential by trying to live in someone else's purpose let me say it again I don't want you to miss out on your potential by living in someone else's purpose or trying to because in reality you can never live in someone else's purpose you can look at it you could say that you want that you can even be very good at it and get very close to and imitate it 
but you will never be truly happy because you're not living your purpose, right? So it reminds me of this story of the classic one that with the tree, that with the fish that tries to climb the tree, I'm sorry. So this fish trying to climb a tree, if we judge this fish based off of its ability to climb this tree, we will think that this, this fish has no value, that this fish sucks, right? This fish will think that it has no talent, that it's not a good anything. And in reality, it's an amazing fish. It's just out of its element. So when you're trying to do something that you were not created to do, or when you're trying, you're in an element or in a, trying to live someone else's purpose, trying to be something that you were not created to be, it's much less, much like this camera. This camera that I'm talking to you on right now is beautiful. This camera is top of the line. It looks like we can make a movie on this thing right now. It's a top of the line camera. But if I judged this camera on its ability to build my house, you know, would this camera have any value for me and how am I going to build my house? You know, I'll throw, I'll break this camera. I'll throw it, you know, like I'll be so frustrated with the camera and the camera if it had thoughts, it would feel like it was a piece of crap, you know, like it was just no good at what it does. And that's not true. This camera is freaking amazing. And this camera doesn't need to build a house. This camera makes movies. This camera can make hundreds of millions of dollars making blockbusters. That's what kind of camera we're on right now. But my point is like, you could be that camera, but you're out here trying to build a house, you know, you could be like so i love this analogy as well is like a bird like you could be a bird you know just much like a bird when actually when they first are born and before they even begin to fly they're in their little nest maybe in a tree or in a bush much higher than their own size it's scary you know imagine not knowing how to fly and they're like go ahead go fly push you out your nest you know you take a leap of faith and something beautiful happens yeah you could fall yeah, you, you, you could get a little bit hurt, but you were made to fly. You were made to soar. So much like a child that's learning how to walk. How many times does a baby fall when it's learning how to walk? How, many, how scared do we get when this little baby is stumbling around corners and we're like, oh my gosh, no. But it's, it's a part of life. And these failures, these ups and these downs, they're our greatest teachers. And failures are not even they don't discriminate you know failures aren't racist they they're for everybody you have to meet your failures as your teachers and understand and be able to reflect on them and look at them and say you know what i understand why that didn't work for me or maybe i don't understand why that worked why that didn't work for me and what i mean by that is like sometimes we give our best and everything we give our all and that's amazing you can walk away from that saying you know i gave my best and in reality maybe that was a training session for your true purpose maybe that was the school that you needed to go through to realize that you don't need a business partner maybe to realize that you're actually doing so much for that company already that you didn't need that girl that you didn't need that guy you didn't need that person that left you but maybe it felt like a failure maybe it felt like something that hurt you maybe it felt like you weren't a good boss or you weren't a good leader you weren't a good partner you're not a good employee that is not the case sometimes you have to make space sometimes things need to leave your life so that you can have some space for it but if i'm stuck trying to fit in your shoes trying to live your purpose i will never tap into my potential to ultimately for that my potential to mature into my purpose because oftentimes you hear those things like oh you have so much potential she has potential he has potential even as a model yeah he has potential what does that mean that means like he could be good if he gets good you know he has potential yeah he has he has some of the elements but he's missing a lot of the pieces you know what i'm saying and and that happens in every spectrum of work really bottom line i believe that we have far more amazing tools in our toolbox that we don't use that are part of us that we have available to us right now you know are you using everything that you have so what i challenge you guys today is to create a list this is an exercise that i love to do i definitely tell my friends to do it people that i mentor that i speak with this is something that i tell them to do so you get a pen and paper and you kind of just start writing down 
all of your attributes, your talents, the things that you are so great at, that it's natural for you, things that you like to do, things that you enjoy, the things that you've learned, that you've acquired over the years, um, the people that you know, the like just even the simple basic things like, oh, I know this guy that owns this, this club, or I know this person that has this or that. You start putting together a list. It's like getting all these puzzle pieces and turning them over so you could see the colors, you could see the design on them. And then you could start saying, hey, you know, like all these blue pieces go together and all these purple pieces, they go over here. You can start getting an an image you can start getting little pictures of what the big picture is so and that is a beautiful thing but you don't even know what you have in your toolbox you don't even know who you are because you're trying to step into something that you're not go home list out all these things all you know create a, a beautiful list a long list you know all kinds of things that you have available to you maybe you're a dj maybe you're you're great at attention to detail maybe you have a good ear for music maybe you you're so good at fashion you're who knows what it is that you have that is placed inside of you that is going to mature into your purpose so once you have all of these things and you lay them out and you're looking at them and you start identifying certain little things and then you can start moving on these little things that you think and then you kind of see do i have something here is this something that uh that i can do that i want to move forward is this something that i want to move forward on you can start assessing it but even like myself as a model or even as a brand, as a personal brand, I would always step outside of myself, look at my brand and say, what, what, what do I need to do here to take myself to the next level? What am I lacking in? What do I need to focus on? What's my weakness? What's my strength? But if I never do these exercises and step out of myself and say, you know, this is a weakness, this is a strength, how can I use my strengths to eliminate my weaknesses? Which that's really what you want to do. You want to do and look at your strengths and your weaknesses because sometimes our weaknesses are things that we can fix very easily, but we haven't fixed for years right as simple as like oh i need to be better at time management or you know what i need a better team i need to add some people to my team i don't have enough time for things i'm just so you know i'm never able to get to the next level because i haven't fixed this weakness so but again you will never figure out some of these things if you don't take the time to even be romantic with yourself in a way that you're like you know i care about myself i want to know what potential i have I want to fulfill my purpose. You need to be interested in yourself. You know, a lot of times people are interested in being other people, are interested in living other people's lives. Like, why? You're never going to be that person. You never you never are. You, what, but what you do have is you, and you, you're an amazing vessel. And we're so lucky to experience this life in these bodies. So taking what you have and working with it, like myself, you know, being, being a tiny little model, and I was able to do a lot with that, you know, and that was, and, and maybe somebody would have had that or girls that are way prettier than me, way taller than me, have the exact same things, even 10 times better. And they're just like caught up looking at somebody else's potential, or maybe looking at another woman's beauty and thinking that theirs is not enough. And I love to say this. I was like, just because someone else is beautiful, doesn't mean that I'm not. So just because somebody else is an amazing businessman or an amazing businesswoman, that does not mean that you're not. And again, you shouldn't be looking at like their, their purpose. You don't even know. Maybe that's just a front, like so many people on social media pretending to be you know i even think these people you know it, it's true they photoshop their numbers their their data their statistics all this stuff you could fool the world boo boo but when you look at yourself in the mirror you're not gonna fool yourself and same thing you could wear a fake purse you could fool everybody but you know so if you feel like you dropped the ball a long time ago you feel like you dropped the mic you can pick that back up this is your life this is your purpose no one gets to say that it's whenever you're ready to take that step into your potential like your purpose is there you know and there's trust me there's going to be a lot of people that have the same ideas that have the same you know callings on their lives but it's who answers it's who's willing it's not like all these great men in our history or all these great people that have done great things in the past None of them were superheroes. None of them could fly or had superpowers. But what they were is that they were willing to be used. And that is a superpower, being willing to be used. So much like the story of the master with his three servants and that one man that buried his talent in the ground, but the other two served the same master. But the first one's, the last one's excuse was that he was afraid. So 
you can choose to be afraid and use it as an, an excuse, you know, and maybe someone will validate it for you and someone will say, oh my gosh, yeah, you're right, that is really scary. But then there's other people that have gone ahead and done it. So the only difference is their self-belief that they can do it and your disbelief that you can't. And obviously you've heard that saying as well, that if you believe you can, you can. If you believe you can't, you can't. That man decided that he couldn't and he buried that talent into the ground. The other men decided that they could and they did. And they were rewarded for it. And at the end of the day, walking in your purpose and living a happy life, knowing, you know, it's not saying it's going to be easy. Walking in your purpose is not easy. You might go through wars and battles in your purpose, but feel fulfilled because you're living your purpose. You know that that's where you're supposed to be. And that's a great feeling to have. But living in your purpose takes courage you know just like those two men that had to step out and do something it took courage just like the little birdie that steps out of the nest it takes courage so if you want to live the life of your dreams it takes courage and honestly i i know i've told you guys this before failure is not that bad i know it, it depends you know it, in ratios or in retrospect and all that stuff but you just really have to look at it as a teacher you can't look at it as like your enemy and so many of us just don't step out because we're afraid of what other people will think of us if we fail and is that a reason these people don't care about you these people people from high school people from middle school people look at you in high school and middle school i used to care what those people thought look at you now i literally had a guy the other day i was i was walking to go get my hair done and this guy from middle school he was so he thought he was like the coolest guy in school everybody loved him everybody sweated him blah 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 and then and he was like mean you know he was like not a nice guy either and then i see him chasing me down the street being being honking the horn hey 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 you don't remember me oh you can you act like you don't know me all this stuff or whatever oh now we're friends oh oh yeah you don't need anyone's permission he didn't believe in me a lot of people didn't believe in me you don't need anyone's permission to step into your potential and let that mature into your purpose these people are gonna be chasing you down honking you down the street hey you don't remember me it doesn't even matter at that point it's just those little funny moments where you look back and you're like that's funny and it's okay you're gonna have many moments like that with you living in your own purpose you living in someone else's purpose you're never going to feel that way i'm happy i'm excited for you i'm excited for the results that you're going to get from doing this little thing again do that little exercise list down all the things that that you know that you're good at like for my for example okay i'm i love muay thai i i'm athletic i love boxing okay so I, I'm, I'm into fitness i'm, I'm good at to attention to detail okay um you know like you start don't you see my life my life is all surrounded by health fitness beauty it they all go hand in hand with who i am and in reality in terms of connecting the community all those things but i had to start working on my potential start getting into things that were outside of myself to ultimately arrive into it where i started educating myself and continue my learning and that is something that if you want to have purpose you have to continue learning you know like every great leader every great person that i know has to continue their learning and we can have all these amazing natural abilities but learning is power and the thing is it's like that's something that no one can take away from you you know and again that's one of the reasons why i got into business too um was because in the influencer world or marketing world you know you can have a great client and then they can be gone and they can leave you you can't take away from me what i built so that's why it's amazing for you to build your own things and even if you're not a business owner you can build your own life and that is yours no one can take that from you the life that you build for yourself no one can take from you so make it with honor make it with purpose you know live intentionally don't be building somebody else's dream. Build your own, no matter what that is. You know, be bold and look at your dreams. And there's another exercise I'm going to give you guys for next time that's really inspired me, but that'll be my next one. So for this one, let's see all that potential. Let's start walking it out. I believe in you. And I know a lot of other people are believing in you and hoping for you. So you could do this. What do you got to lose? I mean, if a little girl like me can do it.
Come on. Love you guys.